Hello everyone, I'm Jenny, the lead programmer and co-designer for Terroir. I know we've been quiet for the past few weeks, and part of the reason is of course the holiday season and new year, but it's mostly because we've been hard at work on development of the game, and simply haven't had time to keep you guys up to speed. We've got a few things to share with you, and we're excited to show you how far we've come since the last time we published an update. In that last update, we shared with you our new art direction for Terroir. The biggest thing was how we switched from square tiles to hexagonal tiles. Well, we're at a point where we can show you an early build of Terroir, incorporating this new look. Our 3D designer, Pavel, made some pretty awesome low-poly models, and we rebuilt the prototype around them. We were also busy developing the new mechanics that came with the hexagonal tile system. We're working on the tile purchasing system, where players can expand their vineyard by buying adjacent tiles. The adjacent tiles are generated randomly, but we've included a feature where players can re-roll the tile type until they get a tile they want. However, that's going to cost money, so players have to balance the pros and cons of re-rolling. We've also finished adapting the winemaking process from the prototype into our new build, but we've changed that as well. We've streamlined the winemaking process so that players can only plant up to three varietals per harvest year. Then they'll have to harvest, press, ferment, then store the wine. Another significant development we've made is the redesigning of the UI. Our menus, panels and information display is now much cleaner and simpler to follow. Since the player will be spending a lot of time fine-tuning wines via menus, we felt it was important to make the processes intuitive and easy to understand. Storage has taken on a completely new form and gives the player more control over the characteristics of the wine. Thanks to our cellar feature, players can store barrels of wine until they reach optimal characteristics. Then the player can proceed to bottling and selling them. Aesthetically, we've started working on the animations. Right now, we're working on the vine animations, from leafless vines to overgrown bushes. We've also included 2D sprites as ambient visuals to help build a nice atmosphere. That's pretty much it for now. We're deep into development and continuously working to finesse everything from the aesthetics to the mechanics of the new Terroir build. We're also going to start composing and recording music for the game's soundtrack and build a sound effects library to help build that unique Terroir ambience. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've got a lot more of these updates in the pipeline, so be sure to keep tabs on our official website, generalinteractive.co, and our Facebook page. See you guys soon. Cheers.